Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, editor-in-chief of ReviewPix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gemmer Junk. This week out we're going to be playing Airwolf on the NES. So Airwolf was a really freaking cool show with Jan Michael Vincent, who's a super charismatic actor you might remember from films like The Mechanic. Um, and he was just like an ass kicker. So, um, yeah. So... This is Airwolf. There's not much to Airwolf, apparently. Um, it controls, like, a tank in the air. So this is kind of like a first-person aviation shooting game. The sound effects are rough. Because all you hear is, like, constant, um... Oh, you got missiles too, baby. How many missiles do I have? I'm dead. Two lives. It makes no sense that, like, the, the music is in between levels and all you hear is, like, machine gun over and over and over again. Um, the control is pretty crappy. Um, the AI moves a little wacky. The map on below the screen works. The lock-on missiles work well. This is not a bad aviation game away from... I mean, the control sucks. How many more missiles do I have? Oh, eight. Okay. This is... This is better than I expected it to be. So... The fact that this even works on the NES is pretty cool. I like that you can shoot missiles with your machine gun. Low fuel. I'm dead again. But anyway. One life left. We're gonna stop right here. Um, This is not terrible. This is definitely playable. I'd like to see... You definitely have to follow the map in the bottom of the screen to kind of get the most out of the game. It's kind of hard to direct yourself. I will say that. Because you're moving diagonally and stuff like that. Yeah. This is like... This is one of those mediocre NES games that could have been... A lot better had they made it easier to understand like the directions that you're going because the dog fighting is actually pretty good but the navigation part sucks so it's like a half finished aviation game but something that on the NES actually does some pretty exciting things in terms of like the music the cutscenes and stuff like that it's kind of like an arcade game but it's not at the same time so there's a lot to, there's lots of hits and misses here 